Participant 3 is a man with a motor complete, sensory incomplete, traumatic spinal cord injury at the fifth cervical level, walking over ground using epidural stimulation while holding moving parallel poles for balance, but without manual assistance after locomotor training. Walking occurs only while epidural stimulation is turned on and while the participant consciously intends to walk. This is participant 3 performing trunk and core exercises using epidural stimulation. He has undergone locomotor training with epidural stimulation. He can maintain independent sitting while performing reaching tasks with resistance. He can perform side-to-side -side and overhead arm movements while holding light objects. Upright sitting and these motor tasks can only be achieved with epidural stimulation. He can also stand using a walker without the need for physical assistance only when epidural stimulation is turned on. He can stand independently and maintain good posture while holding on with one hand. He can stand for up to 20 minutes at a time. Participant 4 is a woman with a motor complete, sensory incomplete, traumatic spinal cord injury at the first thoracic level, more than three years post-injury, walking over ground with epidural stimulation without assistance, using a roller walker. Walking occurs only with the stimulator on and only when the patient makes a volitional effort to walk. This is participant 4 standing without assistance during epidural stimulation. She is able to stand without an assistive device while holding elastic bands for balance. She can stand independently for over one hour at a time. 